Hi everyone, it's Kathy from Vintage Paint and More and Chalking with Kathy. And this is day number five, our last day of our Valentine Chalk Week, where I've been sharing some cute little Valentine's projects that you can do for your home, for gifts, or whatever you'd like to use them for. So tonight, I'm going to be using this piece of galvanized tin that it looks a lot like a tag, and I think it would be really cute if it punched a hole in it here and had cute little ribbons hanging out of it like it was a tag. However, this has a stand that you can stand it up, or it has a hanger where you can also hang it. So I don't think I'll punch a hole in it for right now, although that is a thought. Okay. So I'm going to be using the transfer, You're Just My Type, and as you can see, I've used this several times before with black chalk paste like we're going to be using tonight. The black chalk paste does um, tint the transfers and stains them a bit, but it doesn't hurt the transfer at all. You can still keep using it. Um, as our transfers are sticky back transfers, silk screen, and they can be used over and over and over again. As you can see, this white area right here is the silk screen area where the chalk paste will go through. And this is what makes the um, image come out so precise and so clean and makes such a cute little thing. Um, the galvanized tin, the first thing that I do is, before I ever do any kind of transfers or anything with it, I actually put a coat of uh, Min Wax Paste finishing wax on it. Now this just makes the, the, the surface easier for my transfer to peel off of because it can really stick to these like glass, glass and tin and um, there's a couple other things I can't pull them up off my right now real quick um, that they really stick to and it will stretch your transfer when you go to pull it off. But also to prevent that when we get ready to do it, I just take a towel, put my transfer on it and this is called fuzzing. And there's something on this transfer right here. Is there? I think there is. Just a minute. I think there's something. Maybe I didn't get it clean quite enough the last time I used it. Let me try something here. And you can see how to... Okay, anyway, so back to the project. What I'm going to do is put this transfer down. I'm going to try to center it as well as I can. I don't like measuring things. I'm a person that just eyeballs it and does it. Um, and then you just smooth it out. Now, basically what you're, I'm going to do, what you do is you just, I go around the letters to make sure that, I think I'll put this on the towel because it's kind of wobbly with that backing on it and the towel should make it a little dirtier. There we go. Just go around the letters to make sure that the trans, the sticky part is down good. You don't have to do that out here because um, that doesn't make any difference. It's not going to do anything with it, with the project itself. Um, when you come in, if you'd say hi, I'd love to hear from you, know where you're from. It's always great to know where everybody's from. Um, and just take our chalk paste, which I forgot to tell you about. I'll do that in a second here. If you want to put your chalk paste on rather quickly, you just squeegee it on. And then you just squeegee off the excess. Put it back in your jar. And this way there's no waste. Save it for the next project. And if you've been following me this week, I've used black a lot. I have a lot of black in my house and these are gonna look really cute here with the red accenting on accenting it.
There we go. Now then, I'm going to take a corner, work over to the middle, and pull it up slowly. If there would be any places that I didn't like, I could lay it right back down and re-chalk it. Like if I had missed an area, which I do do every once in a while. Um, so I'm going to dry this with a heat gun so I don't get my fingers in it and mess it up. Okay, I don't know if you can see it from this from the camera or not, but right here the paste went under the transfer a little bit. I guess I didn't get it down well enough. I just take a toothpick and just scrape that little part off. There you go. See? Good as new. It's almost perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put this little heart, this bunch of hearts, or grouping of hearts, whatever you want to call it, on the top there. Fuzzy my transfer. I'm going to get my sleeve in this if I don't move it. And I'm going to put it right there. Is that the center? Yeah, pretty much. And just smooth it down. And I'm going to use the red chalk paste on this. Now, our chalk paste is totally organic and non-toxic. Um, you can use it on so many different um, surfaces. Galvanized tin is just one of them. Um, wood, black chalkboards, um, pallet boards, raw wood, painted wood, stained wood. Um, scrapbook paper, glass. I mean, you're, I've used it on so many different things. It's, it's crazy how many I've used it on. Um, it's temporary, however. And the only way you can, it becomes permanent is if you spray it with a clear permanent sealer. And usually I use Rust-Oleum's clear sealer for that. Um, we also have Couture ink and the ink itself is used preferably on um, glass and fabrics and it becomes permanent when you heat set it and you heat set the glass in um, an oven at 350 for 30 to 45 minutes and you heat set the fabric with an iron for by ironing it for four minutes or use your heat press. Um, you also can use the ink on our chalkboards and such and it after it's dried it does take longer to dry because it's a uh, more tacky consistency to it. Um, when you get done, you do want to spray it too to make it permanent. Now, when you get your top paste out, and this the red I've already fixed, um, you want it to be the consistency of yogurt or sour cream, smooth. And if it's not, you can just take a couple of little spritzes of water, spritz into it, and then stir it up real good, and it will become that way. When it's the consistency you want, just put it on your board and squeegee it on just like we did with the black. I'm gonna get my sleeve in this yet. Um, I think it would probably wash out of my shirt because it is um, water soluble, but I really don't wanna test it and find out. Um, I haven't had to do that yet, surprisingly, because I am a hot mess of a crafter. Okay, squeegee off the excess. And then we're gonna pull up the transfer slowly and if there was any spots I didn't like I would just lay it right back down and re chalk it. Well, since it's up there and out of my way I'm not really going to dry that part right now. Um, I'm going to do another little piece here and this is the same hearts on a long, it's not an arrow I'm not real sure what it is, just a long line on the bottom here. So I'm going to Buzz it first, and then put it on my board. 
it got cool here today. Are you guys in a, as, are you in a area that's getting all the snow tonight? I know my family's area is getting hit with snow. They're supposed to get eight to 12 inches tonight. And they're all excited about that, I'm sure. I'm sure they've got in all their bread and toilet paper, etc., that they're gonna need for being snowbound for a few days. Um, fun, fun, fun. Okay, and you just squeegee your paste across. Takes very little, as you can see. Wipe the excess off in your jar. This is the last of a series I've been doing uh, for Valentine Week. I, I'm calling it Valentine Week Crafts. Um, you can catch the other videos. They're from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And each project is different, done on a different type of um, surface with um, different transfers, not necessarily Valentine transfers, but transfers that I had that could be made into Valentine transfers. All right, pull it up. And there you go. You're just my type. Now I think I will dry that because I know me, I'll get into it sitting here talking to you guys. And that's all I'm going to do to this one tonight. It looks like there's a little spot right here. But see how simple it is to remove with a toothpick? And the thing about it is, look at this. It doesn't smear. Run your fingers all over it. You can remove this easily by spritzing it with water and then wiping it off. And then you've got this surface to redo. That's the beauty of this product. Um, you don't have to have a lot of different um, projects or pieces of uh, decor for different holidays. You can do something for Christmas, then wash it off. Do something for Valentine's, wash it off. Go to Easter, just right on down the line with all of your holidays. And use the same board over and over and over again. That way you don't have a lot of stuff hanging out in your closet. Take up space that you have to store. And I don't know about you, but New Year, declutter. That seems to be the, the idea, right? Um, so when you get finished, just clean around the edge of your jar. And um, mix it in with the rest of it. It'll moisten up too. Cleanup is very, very simple. And in fact, I think I'm gonna move my board so I don't miss drop something on it while I'm doing all this. I'll move it for just a minute. Cleanup's very simple. As you saw there, just close it up. Actually, you should spritz it a couple of times before you close it. I forgot to do that with the red. And, um, but I'll be using it again pretty soon. Uh, close it up and it'll be nice and moist when you get ready to use it the next time. Um, cleanup is done with Disinfectant wipes. Very simple. Um, let me take the little hearts and show you. Spritz the top of your table or wherever you're working at it to lay your transfer down because that way it won't stick to it. The, the transfer back is wet. It doesn't stick to itself or anything else. It just doesn't do it. Then just wipe it off with your disinfectant wipe. Um, let me get a paper towel here. Turn it over. And see the fuzzing? Um, that comes off with this disinfectant wipe. So you just clean it and it's all sticky. 
and ready for your next application, your next project. Like I said, this is a easy, easy, easy product to use. Crafting is very easy with it. There's no muss, no fuss actually. It's reusable. Um, you can use these transfers for company says 8 to 12 times. I've used mine more and through the Valentine holiday here I've really used these little hearts a lot. As long as you take care of them well you'll get a lot of use out of them. Then you just turn it upside down on your towel and let it dry and it'll be ready to use. Put it back on your backer sheet whenever you get done. Same with your stir stick. You can just take your, you can use water with this. I just, this disinfectant wipes right here now, so just use it. Your squeegees, just wash them off. Takes two seconds. You're done. There you go, all ready for the next use. What about that? So easy, so simple, such a great project. So, you're just my type. And I might still punch a hole in that and put some ribbon in there for to look like a tag. So that's all I have tonight. If you'd like to um, check out the product and make one yourself. The surface is not a chalk couture surface. That I did get it. I will tell you, I got it at Michael's. It's one of their um, bulk buys that you can pick up. I think it's in their wedding supply area. Uh, I found it out in the middle of an aisle. I don't know where they generally keep it. But um, they're not too expensive, and you can pick up uh, six in a package. So if you wanted to make quite a few things, you could do that. Um, anyway, the surface isn't chalk couture, but the transfers and the chalk paste, the squeegees, you can pick up in my store at www.chalkcouture.com slash vintage paint and more. Thank you for joining me tonight. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye.